There was never a union leader in Melbourne that tucked his knees under more billionaires' tables than the leader of the opposition. He lapped it up. Oh, yes, he lapped it up. Members on my he right. was such a sycophant, a social climbing sycophant, if ever there was one. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, like we haven't seen him for a while, he's launched a vicious tirade on Labor leader Bill Shorten. It started over welfare changes. The PM's performance in yesterday's Question Time is a hot topic this morning. To discuss it, we are joined by Tom Elliott from 3AW in Melbourne and advertising guru Jane Caro in Sydney. Morning to you both. Morning. Morning. Tom, uh, is this the Malcolm Turnbull of old that uh, the Liberal Party and voters have, have been waiting to see again? Well, maybe. I mean, it's a bit hard for Malcolm Turnbull to be starting class warfare against the Labor Party because he's not starting from a position of strength. I think he's just decided to go on the offensive. It's a bit like, look, I've got to start chucking a few hand grenades. Everything else he's been doing hasn't been working. And you look at the faces of the people behind him. They love him. I mean, politics is theatre, and Australian politicians like Paul Keating, going back two decades, do it better than just about anybody. Turnbull is having a go. And, look, Shorten's an easy target. As I said last week, Shorten's a private schoolboy. He's not, you know, the ultra-working-class sort of person. Does this do anything for the rest of us? Probably not, but it is quite funny to watch. OK. Uh, Jane, on Tom's point that politics is theatre, though, do you think it will win um, Turnbull votes or will it, do, will it do Bill Shorten any harm, do you reckon? I'm not sure it'll do Bill Shorten any harm at the moment. Whether it'll win Turnbull votes or not, I'm not sure. He certainly looks more impressive than he did when he looked like he'd rather be anywhere but than leading Australia. So I think it's an improvement. Uh, I do think, however, this whole politics of envy thing is a bit done and dusted and tired and I take Tom's point about them being rather similar in background and I think if we're going to argue that the only people who can defend the underprivileged have to be underprivileged themselves uh, then that puts the underprivileged in a really nasty position uh, so it's sort of a false argument look I don't mind them having a bit of a go at each other if if you know get some energy and some morale into the parliament but we've got some wicked problems and they don't really involve hurling insults at one another I don't know that that's terribly helpful. Let's hope mm. they do some real stuff. Mm. Except the media doesn't really cover policy, does it? Would be nice <laughs> so if they did. At least, <laughs> at least it gives us something to talk about while they get the policy organised. <laughs> that's right. Maybe. All right. Thank you to both of you. Have a great day. Here's Koshi. Come